Welcome English Romantic Stories Subscribe channel. my channel. How many times have I told you that when I am in Rome, you should also be here? He said holding her wrist tightly. Abhiha licked her lips with her tongue. Yish, Yasham, I was feeding. Ferris with Srilek. That's why I couldn't come. She would lower her eyes and give him her cleaning. Abhiha's transparent speech, which she stared at. Look at the face. Her pouty pink lips were adding to Yasham's emotions. Why were you feeding Persia? Was Nausea dead? He clenched his jaw angrily and said, Abhiha got more scared. Now he was realizing his mistake. She also knew how intense Jasham was about her. But still she had neglected to come late and had to suffer the consequences. You know that Jasham's Ferris has a fever. He has become strangely irritable. So he was stubborn that he would not eat anything, so I had to feed him. I knew you would come soon. So I would have fed him earlier. She was now feeling severe pain in her arm. But she did not have the courage to reprimand the person in front of her. So she explained slowly. Fever did not come down from Persia. Abhiha was also satisfied when he suddenly worried and let go of her arm and spoke in a worried tone. That now immediately his anger was reduced. No, he has not taken medicine. I told you yesterday that he is not taking medicine from me or nausea. You should come. But you were reading a file. So maybe you have forgotten. When she spoke looking at him, Yasham remembered. That indeed yesterday she came to call him, but he could not go because of work. Come on, you could have reminded me in the morning. Anyway, let's go downstairs, get me the medicine, and I'll give it to you. As soon as he said that, he went down holding her hand. When they both came to the lounge, BG, the maid of their villa who is very important to all of them as she is very old, sat on the sofa drinking tea and stood up seeing them. What happened, son? Where are you guys going? She saw Abhiha's hand in Jasham's hand and guessed that. Abhiha tried to free her hand, but it was in vain. No, BG is not going anywhere. Where is Ferris? We have to give him medicine. His fever is increasing. Yasham said seriously, then he nodded. Yes, son, I am also very worried. I did not sleep all night. The child was still crying. So Nausea took him outside to the lawn. When they also spoke worriedly, raised her face and looked suspiciously into Yasham's eyes. But as he walked forward ignoring her eyes 
Abhiha also had to follow. When they both came out, Nausea was sitting on the grass and trying to lighten Ferris's mood by acting like a child. While he was sitting on the chair crying, being unwell did not feel good about anything. Seeing him crying, Abhiha ran towards him, releasing her hand from Yasham. She picked up Ferris and kissed him on the cheek. Then he also became quiet after receiving his mother's touch. Yasham also came close to them and he gently extended his hand and took. Ferris and Abiha in his arms. Dad's lion. He also touched her nose with his lips and spoke lovingly. So Abiha looked at her son's face to see his expression. When Miria Sham Effendi put his lips on his nose, Ferris always smiled. Go get her medicine and water, too. Abiha spoke to Nausea, who was now wrapping up Persian toys scattered on the grass. Taking his word, she left all work and went inside. We are seeing his condition. That's why I am saying to keep him in my room. See, he is only one and a half years old, and you have shifted him to a separate room. Yasham, someone does that too. With your children. She touched Ferris' forehead and spoke. With a mixed expression of concern and anger on her face. Yasham now gently took a chair for Ferris and sat down and looked at his sad face. Nausea is not for Persia, so she is with him. Abhiha could not even stare at him properly. A Nazi mother is not her jade. No helper can handle her children as well as a mother does. But Majel, you take this thing, mother. Let Mama come and get it once, then I will complain to them. She was touching her nose and saying that it was so cute that Jasham's heart would touch her nose with her lips. But due to being far away, she suppressed her desire in her heart. Now, what do you want to do with Bia's Ferris? Let's completely end our privacy. I think you don't intend to give Ferris a sublink. He spoke with a serious tone while his eyes were mischievous. Abhiha's eyes turned red at his words. They were about to talk further when Nausea appeared with a glass of water and Persian medicines on a tray. Yasham got up and put Ferris on Abhiha's lap. Then he also understood what was being done to him now. Mama. Ferris looked at his mother and started calling her. Yasham took out the syrup and shook it and then poured the syrup in a spoon and put the spoon near Ferris's mouth but he immediately turned his face back and hid in B.E.A.'s chest. So they both saw each other. Persia, come on, look here. 
Yasham spoke harshly, so Ferris stuck to be even more. He won't take it. You'll have to hold him. I'll give him syrup. Abhiha said while looking at her. Yasham nodded. Forcing is not always good. I am never at home. As Yasham said, she put the spoon back in the tray and took Ferris from Bia. It's to suggest you want to try it? He said, pointing to the syrup. But Persia was also one of its own. No Baba, Mama, want to, to lay. No Dad. Mama wants to try. He looked at Bia and said, she was smiling. Farsi, take the medicine quickly. Dean Baba will take us to the park. When Bia said tempting him, his eyes also sparkled. Okay, Mom. As soon as he opened his lips, the syrup was poured into his mouth. After giving him water, he saw Yasham who was now probably talking to someone on the mobile. As his fingers were moving in the form of typing, seeing him busy, Baya took Ferris and came towards the flowers so that spending some time with him can refresh his mood a bit. 